Hello and uh, welcome everyone. Today we are going over IBM Cognos GitHub integration. GitHub is the most powerful source control system out there. It is important in a software development lifecycle to have control over different versions of a solution. So you can easily roll back to a previous state if you like. This is a typical Git workflow, assuming you have cloned the repository locally. You add or update a file, add it to your local repository, and then push it to the GitHub repo. With this in mind, let's take a look at Cognos GitHub integration workflow. After changes are made to an object in Cognos and validation tests are performed, the developer pushes the new specification to GitHub. Once GitHub receives new files or update to a file, it triggers a GitHub Action workflow. GitHub Actions help us build, test, and deploy our code. In this scenario, it triggers a call to a web API with Cognos report specification. It validates the specification and deploys it to IBM Cognos environment. API sends a response back to GitHub Actions. Let's switch over to the demo. I am going to launch GitHub and go into the repo called Cognos Reports. It is in the initial stage where we have a readme file that gives us an overview of the repo. Also, we have defined a workflow in the workflows directory. Let's briefly go over the workflow. It is defined in a YAML file. Workflow is called CI and it is triggered on a push to the main branch. We can also manually run it. This workflow runs on Ubuntu image. I am going to launch IBM Cognos and grab a report specification. I will open sales growth report and copy the report XML. Let me run it to make sure it works. It is always a good idea to test your work. It works, so now I can copy it to clipboard. Before I exit, I will navigate to team content and navigate to a desired deploy location. Let's say we want to deploy it under team content, go sales query, and in the accounts folder. I'll right click and uh, hit properties uh, to see the path of the folder. So it will be team content, then go sales query, and accounts. Under the hood in Cognos, team content is just called content. So the path will be content, then go sales query, and accounts. So the initial folder is called content. Within content, we need a folder called go sales query. And inside it, we need an accounts folder. With these folders in place, we have the structure set up. I can open Notepad and paste the report specification and save it under Accounts folder. I'll give it a name and call it Sales Growth Year Over Year. Make sure our report file is under Accounts. Let me grab the base directory of the repo. I will launch command prompt and navigate to this directory. It auto detects that it is a git repo and we have added one file. We can check it with a git status command. It tells us we have uncommitted changes. Now we can add the newly created folders and file to our local repository. I will do this by calling the git add command with a dot. This will include all the local changes. I'll hit enter and it added our files. Terminal changes color to indicate that our files are added. If we were to call the git status again, uh, it will tell us we have added a new file and it is ready for a commit. 
I'll call git commit and provide it a commit message. Hit enter and our files are committed locally. I'll call git push to push the files to the remote repository. We can open up GitHub and head to actions. We can see that our workflow is queued. We can click on it to see more details. Our commit message is at the top and our CI workflow is triggered. We can click on the job to see each steps. It checked out the branch, got the changed files, and it completed successfully. Let us see the detail of each step. It picked up the correct file. Uh, we can expand the make request. Uh, we have made an API call and sent the correct file over. Our URL parameters include the commit hash and the commit message. Finally, we printed the response from the API. It generated a Cognos compatible report path and it looks correct to me. Now we can head back to Cognos environment. I'm going to refresh the page and navigate to the deploy location. So it'll be team content, go sales query, and accounts folder. And voila, our report is deployed. We can run it to make sure it is a valid report. It runs as expected. Let's review the workflow. We commit the files to GitHub repo. It triggered a continuous integration via GitHub Actions. GitHub Actions called the API with a specification. API went ahead and deployed the report to Cognos environment. So let's run through the cycle again. Let me update the report and run the steps again. I'll open the report in Cognos environment and make a simple change. I'll add subtotals to the report and exit without saving it. Let me run the base report and verify before I commit the new changes. Report does not include the recent changes. I'll navigate to the local repo and, and into the accounts folder. Open the report and overwrite the report XML. I will issue a git status command to see the changed files. I will add the file via git command, commit the file and give it a commit message, and finally push it to the repo. It triggered the GitHub actions and the steps are running. I will click on the job to see the details and wait for the steps to complete. Our job completed successfully. I'll head back to Cognos environment, refresh the page, and navigate to the report location. I'll run the report to check the new changes. Our subtotals are at present in the report, so our report is deployed successfully. This is IBM Cognos GitHub integration. If you push the report specification to GitHub, it tracks all the changes to the report and automatically deploys it to Cognos environment. We can check all the changes to the file via command prompt. I'll issue git log command with all parameter and provided the file path. It shows two commits along with the commit hash. We can revert to a previous state of the file with the help of commit hash. This is all for now. I hope you have enjoyed the session. Thank you very much for your time. If you have any questions or comment, post them below. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up. Bye for now. Thank you.